Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes to us from Ray Kushbowski, and he is K8RAY. Okay, he has an interesting question, and I'm not terribly sure of the answer. So we're going to do a little math here and see if we can figure this out. He has an antenna that has a mind of its own. So we're going to see what we can do here. Before we jump into this, I would like to pay a special thank you to Aaron Bond, who is one of my most recent patrons. Aaron, thank you for becoming a patron of this channel and helping to keep the channel funds uh, in, the, in the black. Uh, you too can become a patron of this channel by going to um, patreon.com slash ke0og. So the question that we have here is this. He sent it to askdavidarrl.org, which is the email that I would ask you to use if you want to get in touch with me. You can get in touch with me two ways, three ways. One, if you're a patron, you can use a patron message. I pay a lot of attention to these because these are people who are actually helping to sustain the channel. The next one is to send it to arrl. Uh, to askdave at arrl.org, and those come right into my inbox. The third way is to send me snail mail at uh, P.O. Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. That gets to me, too. Okay. Um, he says, I really hate to bother you. I don't mind. Bother me. I have a quick question. No, this is not quick. I have a 20-meter vertical, ground-mounted, with 16 quarter-wave radials. They don't have to be any particular length, but... If you make them out to be that length, it's fine. The vertical is one inch pipe, oh, and three quarter copper pipe. Visoir is 1.3 to one. And I use the formula two or 324 divided by the frequency in megahertz of 14.2 megahertz. The length of the active element should be approximately 16.4 feet when I put it up. Yes, you're correct. Um, I used an SWR bridge and kept trimming it shorter as it showed lower visoir at a lower frequency. And when I got to the visoir to less than 2 to 1, I quit. The final vertical element being 15 feet and 1 inch. That's like a full foot out of that thing. I recently bought a VNA in probably the nano VNA, in measuring all my antennas, all measure as expected, except the vertical, it measures resonance at 13.7 megahertz. Now that is really weird. He is shortening his antenna. The resonant frequency should be going up as he shortens it. That length by the formula should resonate at approximately 15.49 megahertz, yes. Um, does the 234 constant just work for very small elements like wire antennas? Hope I didn't put you to sleep. You did not. This is very perplexing. But I'm perplexed. Thanks, Ray, K8RAY. Now, the general formula for the length of like a wire or an element is we assume that in on a, on a, a piece of like copper pipe or a wire or something like that, the velocity factor is about 0.95. Now, with that being the velocity factor, that is where you get the classic formula for a half-wave dipole of 468 over F in megahertz. And for that, for 20 meters, which is 14 megahertz, you'll get a length of about 33 feet total. So if you cut it in half just to make a vertical, Flip it over this way. 
what will happen is that it'll be about 16 and a half feet will be uh, the optimum size or for that vertical. Now he's saying he's down here to 15 feet one inch. What's happening? Does a piece of copper pipe have a lower velocity factor, which would make it shorter for the equivalent antenna? I don't think so. I don't think so. So what's happening here? Clearly, something else is resonating as part of the antenna and becomes coupled to the vertical part of the antenna. Now, if the ground wires lay flat, okay, like this, and you bring your cable, connect the outer shield to the ground wires, and then right there should be the uh, bottom of the vertical tube. But what some people do is actually the vertical tube is up like this, and you've got a wire coming from the center up to here, and that wire counts as part of the antenna, okay? So that little piece plus your copper length is your antenna. Now, another way of doing this is if you have your antenna mounted somewhere off the ground and you've got your radials coming down and then out, you've got that vertical piece of that working against your antenna too. And it's as though you're off center feeding the antenna. Instead of feeding it at the bottom, you're feeding it just a little ways up. And that can cause the apparent length to change. So check this. I'm you, kind of curious myself right now. Um, if your radials are flat, now on my vertical antenna, I have a DX engineering uh, radial plate that sits on the ground and all the radials come in. It, it's stainless steel. All the radials come in. I use stainless steel hardware to connect all the radials, about 30 radials. And then there's a little piece of wire that comes up to the input of the antenna. That piece of wire counts in the length. So in setting up the antenna and everything, I have to take that into account. That is about the only thing I can think of that is going on here. I suspect we will get lots of comments from people suggesting things that you can look at. Um, I would say if the antenna works, don't argue with it, <laughs> let it work. Um, now, if there's any kind of a circle in any of the cable, I'm talking not about the coax, but just the wire coming up to the point where it attaches, that will act as a loading coil. And it doesn't take much that will act as a loading coil at the bottom. And uh, you'll, that will make the entire antenna inductive. And so you have to shorten it to get it to the point where you build up enough capacitance that the thing will resonate. Okay, so try that too. This is a really weird one. Um, the last I checked, all the laws of physics still work. So uh, nobody has done anything to, to screw up the way radio waves work. So somewhere in there, you've got some extra length on that antenna that is hiding in some form or fashion. Um, another way you can load the thing on top is you've got a little capacity hat on it. If you've got something sticking out from the top of the thing, that will actually add capacity at the top, which is the same as adding inductance at the bottom, which will physically, you can make the antenna shorter for the same, uh, the same point of resonance. So, I don't know beyond that. 
So let's hear the comments. Bring on the comments. Let's see what's going on. And if you can send me a picture of the base of your antenna and describe how you have the thing mounted, I'd sure enjoy seeing that. So again, this is from Ray uh, Kashabowski. And Ray, thank you very much for submitting this very interesting question. Did not put me to sleep at all. It's rather got me awakened here. So let's figure this thing out. Physics works, okay? And the uh, two, uh, 234 over F in megahertz should give you the length in feet of the uh, antenna. So there you have it. If you'd like to help support this channel financially, go to decastlercom slash support and pick a way that works for you. Also, please subscribe and like and share this video. And until we next meet, 73.